What Every Woman Ought to Know. Written and read by Amy Pollock. Music by Richard Norris. They think because they are men, they are stronger. That we women haven't any force and therefore we will submit. But we shall not be governed so long as that government is unjust and they cannot govern us without our consent. When they excluded us from the law, they gave us no choice but to fight back. Fighting is not a question of physical strength, but a matter of skill and wit. We may appear no match for the men who attack us, but let us not forget we women are an army too, and no power on earth can govern a human being, however small, who withholds her consent. I, Edith Garrod, have always believed that the way to help women is to give them the means of helping themselves. They call me the suffragette who knew jiu-jitsu, because I can throw a policeman over my shoulder in one single swoop. But they think I'm the only one. We, the 30 women of the secret bodyguard society, were chosen as the very best jiu-jitsuists and Mrs. Pankhurst's personal bodyguards. Tomorrow night, February the 10th, 1914, we are called upon to undertake another dangerous duty. Mrs. Pankhurst will come out of hiding to deliver a speech to a large crowd of supporters from the balcony at Mouse Castle. We call it Mouse Castle to show our scorn for the hated Cat and Mouse Act of this wretched government, which sees our suffragette sisters released and then promptly rearrested in a hideous game of Cat and Mouse. It is to Campton Hill Square, and it is the place where our brave suffragette hunger strikers come to convalesce and recover. And it is from the balcony of Mouse Castle that Mrs. Pankhurst will speak tomorrow night. To prevent Mrs. Pankhurst from being rearrested, Florence Smith will be disguised in the same black dress and veil as Mrs. Pankhurst herself. We will sing the women's Marseillaise as the real Mrs. Pankhurst exits Mouse Castle accompanied by Kitty Marshall to be taken to a secret location. Meanwhile, the decoy Mrs. Pankhurst will leave accompanied by her bodyguards. Remember, ladies, there is no limit to what we can do except the limit we put upon ourselves. When the police inevitably confront us, we will not yield. We will not give up our agitation and we will not be intimidated by the brute force and number of opponents ahead of us. March, march, many as one, shoulder to shoulder and friend to friend. For our daughters, our daughters' daughters, and for the future salvation of women to come, we will win this fight. Because every woman who comes after us must know this. You can win yours too.